Hi everyone, it's me Jay, the analytics buddy, and today I'm going to help you out with a step-by-step process of solving either an interview case study or a regular data analytics problem. Let's get started. As an example for today, we'll take a typical case study that I ask in a lot of interviews for junior data analysts, and that is the VP of marketing has reached out to you regarding dropping NPS, that's the net promoter score. How would you go about solving that? As a solution, we'll follow a three-step process. The first would be first understanding the problem, second breaking down the problem, and third identifying the root cause. So I put down this presentation to take you through the three steps. Let's start with understanding the question. The first question that anybody would be curious about is what is an NPS in case if they're not sure. So NPS is a score to capture the customer experience. The follow up question could be how is it calculated? It's a 10 point scale between which 9 to 10 is promoter, 0 to 6 is a detractor. And if we have more promoters, then the NPS would be higher. And if you have more detractors, the NPS would be lower. One thing more, NPS is calculated as a difference between the promoters and the detractors. Since we have got a fair idea about what's an NPS, now let's move on to how do we break the problem? How do we go on to the root cause? So I put a structure in here. I would expect any analyst during an interview to have a structure in mind, which would mimic something like this. And then we'll go one step at a time. So the first thing I would be curious about, is there a specific geography where we are seeing NPS dropping? And has there been a change in the split of promoter and detractor? So have we seen promoters increasing or detractor increasing with time? Let's say we get the answer. There hasn't been any change in the promoter detractor, but yes, there's a certain geography where we are seeing this wrong. Curious? Which geography is it? It's only US. Now we have broken down the problem from NPS dropping to NPS dropping only in a particular geography. That's US. Moving one step from US, is it across all the customers or is it across a certain tenure of customers? And second question is, is it across all the products or is it across only certain products? Let's say we get the answer. It's across only a certain tenure of customers and it's consistent across all the products. Hmm. The next step should be which tenure of customers are there. So I have a random split here, one year and more than one year. Let's say the problem is only with the one year customers. Now, since we know exactly where the problem is, the next question is what's causing the problem? Is it some sort of a change in marketing campaign that we have done recently? Or is it something we are not offering to the new customer, which we are offering to the old customers? And the answer is there has been a change in offering. So now you see how we have got the answer to the problem. We have broken it down into smaller layers and we have got to the root cause, which is the change in offers for the new customer that's causing the drop in NPS. We'll present the data where we can clearly see more than one year is having a higher NPS, less than one year is having a lower NPS. We'll present these findings and the numbers to the higher board. And the concern is that changing offer is causing this problem. Hence, this is the approach that I would suggest to anyone who is planning for becoming a data analyst. They should have a structure in their mind and then slowly break the problem and come to a conclusion.